Hello everyone, welcome back to another part here of Greyhack, and I have come back to the game uh, this time, instead of spending basically the entire time trying to remember what I was doing before, I did recall uh, from last time because I've been able to get back to it a little bit sooner. Um, and I have also taken the liberty of, rather than spending time retreading that ground, um, getting back onto the, um, uh, I think we assumed it was a faculty computer, I believe. Um, we were looking for a local, local privilege escalation. And when we last left off, I took a look at the code editor, uh, cause I was looking for the lib versions of the, um, I think it was in it. Um, and I couldn't find an exploit in the, uh, store. Uh, that would allow me to do it, and then I noticed, or rather recalled, that there was a code editor, and I started a deep dive into that. And I have to tell you that the the process um, of going through, what do they call their, I think they call it gray script, or something like that, in the game. Um, being able to do this, I have a, a whole new appreciation for the game. Not just because they included some kind of scripting or coding or something along with it, which... Isn't this isn't the only game with a hacking theme that I've played that has included that feature, but it so far I I mean I don't really okay I know it's not the first time I've encountered it, but um, I can't tell you specifics about the last time I encountered it, so it was probably just again assuming here uh, you know fairly generic or or inaccurate or or it was um, code snippets or something that were being assembled. Um, Gray script is a fully syntactical scripting language, and it makes sense. Um, and as I was dipping my toes into the water, I did some searches to see if there was some documentation or something in it, in, in addition to, of course, the manual we have here. Because the manual um, has this basics section, which is fine. Um, but there was a couple of things, you know, I was wondering about, um, you know, if I could get like a syntax or something for whatever, whatever I happen to be doing. And it turns out, I mean, <laughs> I had no idea, but it turns out that Greyhack seems to be kind of a popular game out there, uh, amongst several people. Uh, and there's a lot, like there's a, there's wikis out there and there's documentation out there. There is a lot to, to go off of. And it looks like some people... I've been doing some pretty fancy stuff here with the uh, with the scripting in this game, which is uh, really encouraging. I myself um, did create a uh, just a small script to tell me the lib version on a machine. Um, it's nothing fancy and it's pretty ugly, um, but it, it it's there uh, and it does seem to work. So. Um, now that we are back on this box, we can actually use it. So let's drop libver here. We already have meta exploit on there. So with the uh, code that I have, it uh, requires, um, so it tries to use the local lib, uh, lib uh, copy of meta exploit. If it doesn't, if it's not there, then I'll just drop a version in the guest uh, uh, path and we'll run it from there. All right, so uh, 111 across the board. Okay, so now let's go back to the browser here. See if we can find us an exploit for local priv esque. Let's do init. Probably could have guessed the version was 100, and I did consider doing that, but um, wanted, to, wanted to do it the right way. Any user logged in on the computer? Any user logged in, and and we did test this before, if I recall correctly. Us being logged in with the guest account does not count. Uh, net, so yes, is there's no root, there's no root user logged in. Um, and we did test having a guest account running is not. Does not count uh, for any user logged into the computer. Okay, well, this doesn't seem like it's going to work because we're out of exploits and the rest of these are just bank credentials. So 
So let's search for, how about a kernel module? Now, well, there are three, uh, but we don't have a root user. Uh, we don't have four. We also don't have a root user. This is bank credentials. Um, there we go. Notch. Notch, no relation. Okay. That's word one, of course. All right, so we now have the password for user Jolio. Okay. Um, Okay, that makes sense. Um, oops. Um, syntax, come on. Okay. Oh, I missed. I misspelled it. I misspelled it every time I did it. Jolio. There we go. Uh, students viewer. Hey, there we go. All right, there's Robbie. He only took one class, and that was economy. That's the one we want to change. Uh, but it, what is this out of? That's supposed to be a GPA. So we should not give him 10 for this GPA, but what can we? <laughs> Let's see if the request actually said anything. Uh, change the note to approved at least. Um, these are different students. I like I like the pictures. They're clearly just kind of being selected um, out of a out of a bank. Oh, that's neat. Um, I don't see a note. Modify this. Change the note to approved at least. What does that mean? I don't see a note. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I'm just going to give them a 4.0. Oh, actually, hold on a sec. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so the grades are a little strange. They do definitely go past an A. That's a 6.2. But 8.8 .8 is the highest we have. Maybe it is out of 10. Okay, let's give them an 8. I could update it. Okay. All right. All right. Um, and yeah, that's right. We were supposed to. Um... Oops. Um. Oops. Ah. There we go. Uh, it was a uh, log viewer. Okay. No, don't have permission to do this. 
So we were warned in a previous uh, um, tool tip or tutorial to delete the system login. That is obviously normally, yes, something that you would want to do, um, you know, covering your tracks and all that. Um, but we didn't the last time. And I'm unclear exactly if there is some kind of hidden notoriety variable or something. I'm not sure. Um, that's, I mean, I, I would expect it not to be made clear in this game. Part of my problem with a lot of other hacking theme games is that they make it a central feature of the game. Like, it, and it's just a little strange. Um, so I'm not complaining, but at the same time, I'm also not entirely sure um, what the consequence of failure here actually is. Um, so, okay, what do we do with this? Do we reply? Let's hit done. Anything else we gotta do? I can't seem to send it. Um, okay. Customer satisfied with the job. The, the one, uh, I still continue to have confusion in the game with regards to the email client. Um, this, the previous responses put the reply it seemed first. Now the reply is at the bottom. So it's confusing. Uh, all right. Like, we don't need to keep that. This was something else that we had. All right. I'm going to, I'm going to once again, just, uh, forget about the system log for now. And um, move on, do another task here. I'm going to, and I haven't had to switch why again, I'm not uh, clear exactly on the, the whole notoriety thing and what happens and, and all that. So, you know, maybe I'm headed for a bad ending here if there, if there actually is a, an overall narrative to the game, but I'm going to keep going forward and just kind of see what happens. Uh, for the record, normally the whole using, um, you know, other Wi-Fi networks and stuff is all. Uh, so in the, a real attack scenario, the need to delete logs is less than what it seems or is being presented in this game, because in the real world, you would take advantage of privacy enhancing technologies to obfuscate your entry to begin with. Um, destroying logs is usually something you would do as an exit strategy, as part of a counter forensic maneuver. Uh, or if you have, for example, an exfiltration plan, or you must execute an exfiltration plan that uh, is uh, partly, uh, but exposes more of, uh, of what you're doing than you are otherwise comfortable with. Um, I'm connected to somebody else's Wi-Fi network here. All of my activity is going to be visible both on that network as well as to the ISP for whoever is, you know, managing that network or running that network. Um, we certainly would be taking advantage of privacy enhancing technologies. We'd definitely be using a VPN. We may be using a Mac scrambler. We may be using, um, I mean, the browser that we have here isn't branded, but we may be using, you know, um, you know, other obfuscation techniques uh, instead of just relying on deleting logs as we do. So, for example, this is a manual attack. So, if it's a manual attack, I'm connecting to a machine, I'm, uh, you know, taking advantage of exploits, elevating privileges or, or stealing credentials, and then using those. Am I really that concerned about deleting the logs? Uh, I'm not, honestly, in that scenario. Um, except for the initial infiltration, which, if successful uh, and undetected, generally means that there is no intrusion detection or prevention system, 
um, and uh, they have no, for example, conditional access policies or something that would otherwise prevent a connection from the outside. And since I'm using legitimate credentials, as long as my activity remains flying below the radar and I don't attempt to do anything that would raise alarm bells, there's really no need to worry about the logs. Uh, because even if something is detected later on, chances are by then the majority of the evidence will already be spoiled anyway because logs aren't kept around that long. Uh, when I'm consulting for cybersecurity, I usually recommend to clients that they try to keep a log aggregation service with a, uh, a hot database for uh, aggregated logs going back to a year and then cold storage going back three years. But um, most places don't have the funds for that. So, you know, they end up just kind of doing whatever they do. Um, if it's a different kind of attack, um, you know, like, for example, one that would be noisy, then in that case, maybe, you know, going after logs might be uh, a more of a valid strategy not to prevent detection. Uh, I'm sorry, not to prevent identifying you necessarily, but to increase the amount of time that it takes to detect. So if it's a, an organization that, um, you know, maybe is, is being hit with a multi-prong attack or a multi-partite attack or something like that, then um, the, uh, the logs are going to be noisy. And some SOCs and some log aggregation services are going to be set to generate alerts if there are X alerts over Y minutes. And so in those cases, destroying the logs before they're aggregated can buy more time in an attack that is otherwise very noisy. It's rather than flying under the radar and trying not to trigger alerts, it's being loud and noisy, but trying to delay those alerts by essentially messing with the mechanism that would otherwise generate them. So it's just two ways of doing the same kind of thing. So um, those are the two things with Greyhack right now that I'm still struggling with um, the email system and this uh, whole um, hiding your identity or obfuscating this, this the networking level kind of thing um, not networking level thing uh, but the personal connection thing uh, because I, I haven't had to switch and also and that's, that reminds me there's that admin detection program um, as well which was a bit of a odd outlier admin monitor uh yeah which i'm not sure you know what to do with i don't have a real life analog to, to point to that one um i don't have a program that monitors when i get up go to the bathroom or take a coffee break or whatever all right uh, so let's try another mission here while I got a little bit of time before my next meeting here. The client wants you to modify the information of a police record. The remote IP of the victim is that. Uh, the record to modify belongs to Nat Perkissong. Perkissong. Ah, did it again. And fraud, and the date of the crime is six years before. Okie dokie. Well, let's give it a try. Start with an end map. I saw that some of the um, <laughs> criminals and employees. <laughs> Uh, we got FTP, SSH, and, and well, we got SMTP open. We had uh, success with this one last time, so. Um, oh, well, how about that? That was relatively painless. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, some of the uh, scripts that I saw people had written and shared in places on the uh, Greyhack wiki for the programming language. Um, seem to be a lot of quality of life improvements, which would just run basically a series of scans on an endpoint and map and so on and just report back. Um, seem pretty handy. Definitely um, 
something I might end up playing with, but I'm also not entirely sure if I'm going to be playing this long enough for it to really matter that much. I do want to give the multiplayer a shot um, before I hang this one up. All right. Uh, so. Uh, let's throw my liver over there, and I'm sure that meta exploit's not on there, so we'll throw that there too. Um, but yeah, um, really impressive uh, what they they have been able to do here. There's just there's certain there's definitely many parts of this game uh, that I really appreciate and enjoy. Uh, let's try Notch again. Um, definitely in my top five for faithful recreations of hacking games. Oops. I don't know why I tried to tap complete on a username. Bob on one. Um, very, very close to... Oh, it's, we got some stuff here. Should curiosity get the best of me? Um, FTP was open? Yeah. No? Um, is it... I'm not going to open up the... Um... I'm not going to open up the manual uh, to see. I'm just going to. That is cool. The fact that they included stuff like this. I like that. That adds a lot of verisimilitude. Um, but, 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 Fraud year was six years before, so that's 1988. Save. All right, done and dusted. I'm not again going to bother to clear the log, although I feel like the game really wanted me to. So yeah, and then like the, you have to hit this button again to reply. It's uh, the the mail client, I think, is the the. UI feature that needs the most work. I think that the notoriety feature, if there is one, is the one that in terms of gameplay probably needs to be reworked the most. But again, I'm how many hours do I have in this? I have 14 hours. I just ticked over to 14 hours on Steam for this, so um, I don't think I'm... Uh, I know the game well enough Um I'm going to leave that um, yet because uh, the, the other UI issues I was having cleared up with a little bit of help from Grey Hat Gaming and a little bit of practice um, and part of also, you know, hopping back and forth between uh, operating systems. Part of it was just me, um, you know, getting in the right headspace to uh, remember what I'm doing half the time. All right, now, okay, so we do have levels. Uh, we do have levels, we do have experience. I'm about to tick over the first level, so I'm going to do one more challenge to be sure that we can do that, because I have just a little bit more time. Um, karma is a thing, and that's not a mechanic that I'm familiar with so far. But that's interesting to know. See, this is, this is, what, I, this is what the thing about Grey Hack that I've noticed, okay? Um, so most hacking simulators are very superficial. Like you get into them five, 10 minutes, you get the mechanics, you get what you need to do. And there's not really a lot else to the game except doing things over and over and over again, the exact same way. It's just repetition. What I'm noticing with gray hack is that when I first started playing the game, it seemed like that was the case, but every time I look at something, 
it's a lot less superficial than I expect. And, um, there's all, there seems like there's always more to it. Um, so I do appreciate that. So I, I'm not familiar with the mechanic here with, uh, with karma. It looks like I'm a little bit leaning towards the dark side here. Um, okay. Can I add other users? No, I can't. Firewall, firewall's off. We can't turn it back on. See if, if, if this, so when I have, when I do pen testing, my rig is, it's got just as many security features or more than my target. I have host-based firewalls. I do DNS black holing. I have Mac scramblers. I use VPNs. Um, I have host-based um, IDS, uh, AV exploit mitigation. I, I run all of that. Um, the fact that we are, the game mentioned earlier that we may be detected or whatever, and we're not using a firewall is strange. Like we should be, um, at the very least, uh, <laughs> you know, I, and I understand why they probably turned it off because I don't get me wrong. Managing a host based firewall on an attack machine is a huge pain in the ass, but it is also an excellent way to make sure that you are locked down and only connecting to what you want to connect to. Oops. Uh huh. Okay. I just want to see what else we got here. You know, I, I haven't dug into any of these before. Oh, there's different themes. Wow. Ouch. Uh, let's do workbench dust. Oh, you can do custom wallpaper. That's cool. That is very cool. UI scale. Actually, let's scale this down a little bit because it is a bit big. That's cool. Doesn't really... Uh... The uh, wallpaper doesn't really work for me with this theme, but let's try. I think we're going to have to stick with the uh, the old classic wallpaper here. Hold on a sec. Actually, let me do my own. I have, a, I have my own wallpaper that I put on all of my machines assuming i can find it i know it's here somewhere um let's see am i going to need to No, I can't. I can't stretch it. I'm going to need to resize it. It's cool that you can do this, though. I feel way more at home now, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, man. I wish you could, uh, I wish you could fit and fill. Um, hold on. What does it say? The recommended images with at least 8, uh, 1920 and 1080. Uh, edit. Edit, 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 there we go. Resize pixels.
There we go. I feel way more at home now. This is as nature intended. Uh, we haven't bought any hardware yet. That's another thing I want to do. I should have money now, right? No idea how much money I have. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing that I would like is um, in addition to fixing the UI for the mail client, I would really like an overhaul of the browser to have tabs. Okay, I got 17, 15. That's got to be enough for something, although the prices were just outrageous the last time I saw them. Let me change my UI scale because I noticed that this UI scale is much better for me. Not so good for you at home watching this on YouTube. So there we go. Oop, this okay. Uh oh my goodness. Keep double clicking. Well, this is an upgrade and I can afford it, but Oh my god. <laughs> the the hardware in this game is just insane. The prices are insane. This is this is a 4 a 350 meg drive. <laughs> <laughs> oh man i remember the days i do i got i got 128 mega ddr1 but this computer is from uh 1998 uh looks like i'm gonna need considerably more money before i actually get anything decent oh look at the price on this i mean i'd be a fool not to buy that 161 bucks and it I mean, it's not a speed increase. Oh, the quality is low. What's the quality of mine? What does quality do? I think this one I am going to go to the manual for. Um, oh, there is no manual for hardware. So I guess we're just left to our own devices to figure that out. Quality is low. I don't know if that means that, like, is there a chance the hardware can fail? I have no idea. Um, this is a pretty good deal. I mean, it's an upgrade anyway. Oh, but it's a DGA. Unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever be able to do an upgrade with the prices of these. All right. Well, I'm running low on time, so let's let's get one more done. Uh, find and delete remote file. To rep. Do not have the necessary reputation. What's my current? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm at zero. Okay. Well, I'm starting to lean towards the dark side. So can I find like a, a good one? Uh, client wants you to get a file from the victim. Changing grades. Client wants access to a remote machine. I'm not sure how we're supposed to stay morally neutral when all, oh wait, was there a, um, was there a legitimate jobs board? Oh, there is. Okay. Oh, but you've. You need reputation before you can even do them. Let's try. Let's try one more site. Just uh, maybe.
Yeah, okay. So we don't have the reputation to do any of these anyway. So we're going to have to be bad guys until we can earn enough rep to be good guys. Um, all right, let's do another academic change then. Okay, that just took a while. All right, client wants this thing. Come, where are you? There we go. Okay. Uh, same as the, okay, second verse, same as the first. What the hell? Just a little bit louder and a little bit worse. All right. All right, we don't have SMTP this time, but we do have SSH. I got two ports open for SSH. Interesting. I can't remember which we had used for SSH. Uh, where it's vulnerability not found. I don't know what I can't remember what what that is. Was it uh? Let's go look. It was. Yep. Um. Well, I don't see them on there now, but I do see this. Okay, then. Let's try the other port. 63 to 57. Shouldn't take this long. I don't know what it's doing right now. It's running to cipher, I mean, but I mean, I don't know why it would take this long. Finding several. Um, okay. Aronma. Did I say that was guest? That's what it says.
Lucif. I need to turn off my notifications. Vaging, really? Uh, wrong syntax. Okay, well, we have... Okay, we have several options here. Um, syntax. Uh, SSA, let's do... Hmm, okay. I know that I know that the game had a strange syntax for SSH. Yeah, strange syntax. Um, uh, Lucif. Incorrect user password. I spelled the name wrong. Okay, we did it. Kristen Jane, there we are. Uh, mathematics to change the note to approved at least. Uh, so I, I, I'm confused still by the way that academics work is so different in every country, even neighbors like the united states canada and mexico have completely different systems when it comes to learning uh and grading and all of that in the united states we have a four point scale 4.0 to 0, 0 and those are roughly commiserate with letter grades so a b c d and f right um when you're calculating so, for example, 4.0 is a perfect GPA. It means that you have all A's on your GPA. A 3.9 means that you have all, all mostly A's, but maybe you have a B or uh, something somewhere in your in your line as well. Uh, the grade point average is the average grade you get per course over your entire academic career. So a 4.6 doesn't make any sense to me. And saying that I need to, quote, change the note to approved I don't know what approved is or note is in the context of these grades. I can see here that Christian is 67 years old, so good for them for continuing their learning. Um, uh, okay, mathematics is a 4.6, physics is a 4.9. Are both of those failing grades? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. If so, why are we only changing mathematics? I don't know. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go with eight again because that's what I did last time and that seemed to work. So. Um, but some, some, some idea of what I'm doing would be nice. I, that's definitely a, a straight up guess. Okay, here we are again and done and customer is satisfied the job. There's been, in, in, okay. So done. That's three jobs. It took us five parts to get to three jobs, but we managed to knock them all out in less than an hour. Uh, which is good. So what's my next step here? Uh, well, first, let's see. I am level one now. My karma is going down into the toilet, though. Um, reputation level one. Okay, so but now I can take level one jobs. I need to be level two before I can take any good guy jobs, any white hat jobs. So that's unfortunate. Uh, but next time, we're going to see if, if there's any rep one 
white hat jobs available so we can prevent ourselves from plummeting into the dark side. Uh, I do want to mess around with that. I want to try some different jobs because all of the jobs I did today were mostly the same. I would like to try the remote file challenges here because we're rep one. We can do this one now. Uh, I might do get credentials. Corrupt data. I want to try some different types of jobs. I've, I've only really tried two types. So uh, we'll come back with uh, at least a part six uh, on single player here so we can try those. And uh, we are going to try multiplayer, and then uh, then we'll have the game, the, the Gray Hack experience, I think. So stay tuned, come back for part six, and we'll get a little bit more work done here.